In this video, we'll be covering the best way to build the cell phone, one of the most complicated and helpful informational items in Terraria. The cell phone is an informational item and not an accessory. It displays a plethora of helpful information which includes fishing info, weather, moon phase, elevation, distance from center of the world, time, valuable items, player speed, current DPS, number of monsters killed, rarest nearby enemy, and number of nearby enemies. It can also teleport you home, similar to the magic mirror. This item is perfect for players who want to know all of their stats and their surroundings. Obtaining the cell phone is a complicated tree of farming and crafting, as many of its components have low drop rates due to their rarity. The order isn't necessarily important, but let's start with an item you hopefully already have, the magic mirror or ice mirror. You can find one in chests in the underground or cavern layers, or for the ice mirror in ice chests in the underground snow biome. Now let's get to work on the GPS. To do so, you'll want to start by crafting either a gold or platinum watch. You'll only need one, so either take 10 gold or 10 platinum bars and one chain over to a table and chair to craft your watch. Next, you'll need to find a depth meter. They can be acquired by killing cave bats, salamander, giant bats, giant shelly, ice bats, and jungle bats. The last component you'll need for the GPS is the compass. You can find one of these by killing either salamanders, giant shellies, crawdads, mother slimes, piranhas, snowflinkses, and undead or armored vikings. Once you have the watch, depth meter, and compass, you can combine them together at the Tinkerer's Workshop to create the GPS. The next core component we'll need to make will be the fish finder. Three different items are needed for this. The fisherman's pocket guide, the weather radio, and the sextant. All three items are only available by completing fishing quests from the angler NPC. Once you've acquired all three, you can head back over to the Tinkerer's Workshop to create the fish finder. Next, let's make the Goblin Tech, which consists of three combined items, starting with the Metal Detector, which can be occasionally dropped by killing the rare underground enemy, Nymph. Next, we'll need the DPS meter and the stopwatch, both of which can be purchased from the Traveling Merchant for five gold apiece. Once you've found the metal detector and bartered with the traveling merchant, take all three of the items to the Tinkerer's Workshop and combine them into Goblin Tech. The REK-3000 is the fourth piece we'll need to make. Start by speaking with the traveling merchant again, but this time buy the Life Form Analyzer, which will also run you another five gold. Then you'll need to get your hands on Radar. Radar can be obtained from looting wooden chests, which can be on or near the surface of the world. Some worlds will not have spawned any, and the only way to obtain the radar is from wooden crates, which can be obtained from fishing. And for your final piece, you'll need the tally counter. To obtain said tally counter, you'll need to hunt down angry bones, cursed skulls, and dark casters, all of which can be found in the dungeon. Beware of its 1% drop rate, this item can take a while to find, like some of the others. Once you collect all three, head over to the Tinkerer's Workshop again and combine them into the REK-3000. Good news, you're almost there. Let's take the GPS, Fish Finder, Goblin Tech, and the REK-3000 all over to the Tinkerer's Workshop and combine them all into the PDA. Finally, let's take the magic mirror we've been using the whole time and then take the PDA over to the Tinkerer's Workshop for a final time to craft the cell phone. Now you'll have all the stats you'll ever need all in one slot with easy transportation to home when activated. For more on the cell phone, or if you need a refresher on how to obtain any particular item in Terraria, make sure you check out the Gamepedia link in the description below. I've been Andrew from Curse, saying thanks for watching, and enjoy the game.